Absolutely. Uh, social media in general has, uh, has worked hand in hand with a global rise in health and food related misinformation. This has particularly been amplified uh, and exaggerated in India because of the very specific complex nature of how people's relationship with food is in India. Right? We are very divided along food lines based on caste and religion and community and region and which part of India you're on and so on, right? Uh, so every person who belongs in a small micro region, micro cuisine, micro food eating habits now has the opportunity to use social media and say my way is the right way, that way is wrong. And the algorithms of social media over the last four or five years have all gravitated towards amplifying conflict, right? Amplifying sensational uh, content and also negativity, meaning like for example, that if I just choose to say that uh, microwave will cause cancer, right? Uh, I don't need evidence, but for sure, you'll get like 20, 30,000 likes because there is that innate fear of a lot of things that are new. Uh, there is also a fear of uh, a technology coming into food. There's a fear of processed food. Uh, there is this fear that all of this is what is causing all of our health crises. Honestly, that's not the reason. It's actually causing a health crisis. People don't realize that um, Indians in general are living longer, right? And as a result of living longer, you're definitely going to see more sick people.